Now we will see Ampere's circuital law. What is the meaning of this Ampere circuital law? Previously, we have discussed about Biot Savard's law. This Biot Savard's law explains about the magnetic field at a point from the source, maybe at x perpendicular bisector to the x, or like that. Here it is a linearity of the magnetic field means we should join the magnetic fields magnetic points in a particular direction it creates a lengthy section or a straight wire or a straight line so at a point along that straight line we are going to calculate the magnetic field that is biot savard's law but actually magnetic field assumed are assumed like a concentric circles around the magnet means if a magnetic material plays at one point the magnetic field lines are assumed to be shaped like a concentric circle means common center many circles are derivated so in this case we should find out the magnetic field in the given circuit or circle to circuit a localized field so what should be the magnetic field between that locality is derived by ampere so ampere circuital law is an explanation of magnetic field and how to find out this magnetic field summing over the field elements within a given loop summing over the field elements within a given loop So summing over means we should find out the integration so that integral b dot dl how much we will get those things we should find out with respect to this reason so for this purpose we should assume some constructions so let us assume a current carrying wire a straight wire and this current carrying wire which is have some cross section and some length it is an infinite current carrying wire but the point should be assumed is this current carrying wire is emerging out of the plane means suppose if this is a page of a book or this is a board the field is emerged out or the conductor is placed like this so if the electric field is emerged out magnetic field will rotate in anti clockwise direction if electric field emerged out the magnetic field field aligns in anti clockwise direction like this and we said that we do uh, we have confirmed that the magnetic fields are in a shape of concentric circles and the direction of the magnetic field around a ma current carrying conductor is like this anti clockwise direction Okay, so this is said to be the clear picture about the Ampere's circuit law introduction. But take uh, whenever the field, if the magnetic field is extending, there is a possibility for the decrease of the magnetic field strength. So for that case, let us assume the first loop is a circular, and the next loops are not exactly circular; they are occupying the different shapes. So we will treat this one as a loop one. 
closest loop next loop 2 loop 3 such like that and we will name the loops like a b c d e f like that so we should find out what is the magnetic field with respect to this b dot dl with respect to a b next c d next e f and summing over we will find out the magnetic intensity is same or not within the given location now the assumption is like this this is the source of the magnetic field and we are assuming a circular loop the first one next one so like this and there is a coverage which is to cover what is the need of this type of diagram it's all it is not at all in the shape of a magnetic field but we are assuming that this is a point source if suppose it should be in the center if this is the source of the magnetic field this dot closest loops are in the circular form as the field extends away from the source there may take a different shapes sometimes intersection also not takes plus pull so this is a ab the intersecting of the field lines also not possible whenever the magnetic field is extending next is let us say it is cd next it is like this now ab is a loop i am taking a small element in that loop if the whole length is l the small element is dl now what is the magnetic field b dot dl is equal to mu naught i by whole divided by 2 pi r into r d theta so r and r get cancelled therefore mu naught i by 2 pi d theta is b dot dl that means in a given infinitesimal lengthy section or a, a small section of the length was removed in this length the magnetic field is this much mu naught i by 2 pi into d theta but what about the magnetic field along the whole loop a b the magnetic field along a b is equal to we should integrate b dot dl is equal to mu naught i by 2 pi d theta integral a to b without the limits so what is the d theta here mu naught i by 2 pi integral d theta so for within a given loop for a complete rotation the total angle covered by it is 2 pi therefore it is mu naught i by 2 pi into 2 pi 2 pi 2 pi get cancelled therefore it is b dot dl therefore b dot dl is equal to mu naught i with respect to a b curve similarly for cd also we will get the same thing EF also will get the same thing. So, for every loop, we are getting the magnetic field along a given length is mu naught i. So, the summation b dot dl is equal to mu naught i by 2 pi theta eb. Along the curve cd, b dot dl is equal to mu naught i by 2 pi into theta cd. So what will be the total magnetic field among the whole sector? So the total field is equal to B dot DL is equal to integral mu naught i by 2 pi into theta AB plus mu naught i by 2 pi into theta CD and so on. So we can take mu naught i by 2 pi as common. So integral theta a b 
plus theta c and so on. So this whole will become 2 pi again. Two pi two pi get cancelled. Therefore, b dot dl is equal to b not i. We will get. So therefore, b dot dl is equal to b not i. That means, for a given element in the loop, we are getting b not i by two pi for the whole loop b not i, and the total field among all loops is also b not i. So for this reason, we can say that field is uniformly distributed. We can say the equipotential surface case here we can compare with this. How the electric field equally distributes over a given region such like that magnetic field also expands or distributed in a equiplane or equidistribution of the magnetic field. This is the very very important one. And this law is useful for any, any loop. Suppose if the total length is 2 pi r is equal to mu naught i, therefore b is equal to, we can say, mu naught i by 2 pi r. This is for one given circuit. This dl is the length of that circular loop. So this is the information of the ampere circuit law. So this ampere circuit law is valid for any curve or any shape. So the magnetic field is independent of the shape. So if the first loop is circular, second loop is not a perfect circle, third loop is almost vanishes. So that's why it's a, the magnetic field distribution along a given region is independent of the shape of the loop. The distribution of magnetic field in a given region is independent of shape of the loop. Yeah, for circular loop we got mu naught i, for the curved loop we got mu naught i. So these are the reasons. This b has a possibly three values. First one, b is tangential and non-zero constant. This is the possible value of the b. Second one, B is perpendicular to the plane. Third one, B vanishes. Now we will see this, how this B will change and what is the physical significance of those equations. So let us take B dot DL is equal to mu naught ie in place of small i we are writing ie what is this ie current enclosed by the loop by the loop we already discussed if it is a total loop the length of the total loop is 2 pi r because of the circumference of the circle so b into 2 pi r is equal to mu naught ie therefore b is equal to mu naught ie by 2 pi r. This rule implies some, uh, some laws or some assumptions. What are those assumptions? The first assumption is magnetic field loop of radius r its strength is same at every point. So this is called cylindrical symmetry or equal distribution. The magnetic field or loop of radius r has same strength 
in a given region. And this field is formed due to symmetry. The symmetry is called cylindrical symmetry. So magnetic field possess cylindrical symmetry. This is very, very important. So magnetic field has cylindrical symmetry means to see anywhere it is seems to be same from by seeing any position of the lo location. So second one, it has a clear shape. So magnetic field is inversely proportional to the circumference of the circle. So if circumference of circle is reduced to then field will increase because mu naught and i is not going to change. So, what we can understand is field lines has definite shape and they align in a particular direction. That is what we can discuss as a point. So, what is this point? This field aligns from north to south as north is a high pole, south is a low pole. The field aligns from north to south as north is high pole strength so south is low pole strength It has a particular direction. It depends, it is a clockwise alignment or anti-clockwise alignment. It depends upon the poles of the magnet. Mostly if current is coming out of the page, then, uh, then the magnetic field aligns in an anti-clockwise direction. If current is going into the page, a perpendicular distribution, we can say that magnetic field aligns in clockwise direction on the page. So these alignments should be understood. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.